In this video we will talk about new surface deformation analysis tool. Surface analysis tools will let you check and visualize model accuracy. You will be able to compare created model with point cloud data. Another good thing is that created analysis will stay in a Revit file, so you will be able to open it in another computer. To review analysis in other PC you will need to have installed Undet for Revit plugin, but plugin can be without an activated license. To start surface analysis go to Undet tab, press add slice option and load your Undet project. Now analyze option will become active, so from this point you are able to create new surface analysis. After selecting this option a pop-out window will appear in which you will be able to adjust a lot of parameters such as grid size, inside depth, outside depth. We recommend to use predefined values for those parameters, because with time our undet specialists figured out that these settings are the best to generate correct surface analysis. Next option that you can choose is calculation method. In most cases we use mode which is default option is the best option to start with. But we also have a lot of other methods such as minimum, maximum, random and so on. Also you can choose data source from preview points, decimated points or all points. This selection will have a big impact on calculation time, right now I will use preview points. I will talk more about difference of these options later in this video. Further on you can select which elements surface analysis will be created and filter them by type. Also you can adjust orientation options and define orientation of the elements which will be available for analysis. The last thing that you will have to choose from is how you want your faces to be selected. If you will choose single face option, surface analysis will be created for that specific face that you will select. If you will choose multiple faces, then surface analysis will be created for all selected elements which are defined in our filter section. Undet created this smart object selection, that ensures that only filtered object will be selected for analysis. And finally if you will choose auto by filter, surface analysis will be created for all filtered elements throughout project. So now I will create surface analysis for my 3D building model elements including walls, floors, doors and roof. I am using Undet specialists recommended settings. These settings are optional for quick analysis of full building. In the end of the video I will show different options impact time of analysis creation. As you can see our analysis was created and you can clearly see where mistakes were made while creating 3D model, comparing to point cloud data. This scheme represents deformations that undet specialists are using while working on projects. Analysis display style can be changed at any time by opening analysis display settings from properties tab and changing it and selecting any of existing style or creating your own scheme, but at this time I will just choose few standardized schemes such as USIBD and RCIS. You can delete surface analysis at any time. At this point we have our analysis in our project in two ways. First is calculated analysis and second is loaded analysis. To delete calculated analysis select delete option from surface analysis tab. This option will delete whole information from project file and this step cannot be undone. After you delete that surface analysis you will still see loaded analysis it will stay in your project until you will close it, but it cannot be saved to your file. To delete it simply select it and delete it as any other element from project. Another thing is that you can create surface analysis not only from 3D view but from any other view that fits best for you at the time. In this case I want to create floor analysis, so I will open floor plan and change my filter options and select floor only. And I will select our floor. As you can see it took about a second to generate surface analysis for whole level from single face. Now I will create another analysis for same floor plan, but this time I will change my data source and choose preview points instead of decimated points. So we will compare difference between those two surfaces. As you can see this time it took more than 10 seconds, so you can imagine if you are calculating new analysis for thousands of elements, it will take some time. At this point we have two surface analysis, you can always choose which one you want to see from properties window by opening results settings.
As we can see analysis that was created with preview points looks sharper and more detailed comparing to the one that was created with decimated points. So it all depends on what kind of results you are looking for. Undead is fully tested and capable to calculate analysis for big project with high detail level. Last function that we will talk about is surface analysis load function. This will only work if project have analysis that was created before. Here you have some options disabled because they were predefined while creating analysis and now we are just loading already created one. Simply click load option and follow same steps as you would do to create new analysis. Filter elements and choose how you will select them. This time I will choose multiple faces and I will load couple wall elements of our building facade. After selecting elements that I am interested in I will have to press finish in this case to start analysis loading process, or in other case creation process. As you can see analysis for selected objects was loaded successfully. Here is the summary of time that was needed to generate surface analysis for 3D model which has almost 900 components with recommended surface analysis options, but changing data source. So while generating new analysis take those time calculations into consideration and use all points option when you really need it, because it will take some time for sure. If you need such a high detail analysis, you might do one or couple face at the time when you really need it, and leave full project analysis calculation for the time when you will not need to use project. If you have any further questions about this surface analysis tool, or any other Undet for Revit functionality send us email to info at undet.com. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.